So volume 8 for Need for Speed Unbound has just been revealed and it's looking kind of insane. Now looking back at the roadmap for Need for Speed Unbound years 2 we already knew that volume 8 was going to be inspired by Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. But now thanks to Criterion updating the Steam page for Need for Speed Unbound we have the full details on the content that we're going to receive in Need for Speed Unbound volume 8. So let's start off with the new game mode, brand new game mode, hot pursuit mode, high octane 4v4 action pitting cops versus racers. Now I imagine this is 4 players playing as cops and 4 players playing as racers and the cops have to work together to take down the racers before the race is over which sounds like a lot of fun. And in this hot pursuit mode we'll get the ability to use pursuit tech which includes deployable spike strips, engine disabling EMPs and the ESF battering ram. Now let's move on to the next part which for me is probably going to be the absolute best part of this update which is cop progression. It says upgrade your arsenal to become the meanest most capable force on the streets. Now for me this is probably my favourite addition to the game because it gives us a whole new way to play the game. You know we're playing as a cop rising through the ranks to become the best cop in Lakeshore. If this is executed well, which I believe it will be, I think Criterion has done a great job so far, this could easily be the best update we've had over the last three updates. Or at least one of the best updates. I mean there's definitely been better overall updates, but this will be one of the best gameplay additions that they've made. Now let's move on to the new content that we'll be getting with Volume 8 and to start off with we've got the new cars so we'll be getting the Porsche 959S and the Lotus Evija. Now for me personally I find these cars a little bit underwhelming, I mean I'm a massive fan of the Porsche 959S but I feel like they could have gone for something a bit better than the Lotus Avija. Now, I personally, I would have loved to see something like the Lamborghini Revuelto, or if we're going to roll back the years a bit, maybe the Pagani Zonda F. I would have loved to see the Zonda, which was iconic during the Hot Pursuit era. Now, the Cop Custom is definitely something that looks really interesting. It says unlock nine unique Cop Customs between Cop Career and the Premium Speed Pass. So, obviously, throughout the Cop progression line we're going to be able to unlock cop cars and if you buy the premium speed pass which i of course i'm going to buy it i'm going to be able to unlock cop custom cars through that now on the picture i can see quite a few porsches i can also see i think a range rover at the top right and there's a few more which i can't really identify but yeah really really cool additions for sure and lastly we move on to the speed pass now the speed pass you get 45 free tiers and thankfully the new car the uh, lotus evija is free and of course it has its custom body kits and the rare custom in there as well which also seems to be free we then of course have the premium speed pass which is going to feature need for speed legends customs which looks like crosses corvette which if you remember is from most wanted you've got speed hunters customs signature style vfx and cop customization which is actually crazy so obviously we can of course customize our cop cars that we unlock as we rise through the ranks of the cop storyline and also through the premium speed pass Criterion have also promised us a refreshed racer league which if you don't remember is the underground racing league which was introduced in volume 7. New playlists, new pvp playlists and more quality of life updates. Now I hope that includes an increase to the party size which is currently only 4 which is crazy because in need for speed heat I'm pretty sure it was 8 so I'm hoping that that is one of the quality of life updates that they include. So that is everything that we're going to be getting for Volume 8. I'm sure Criterion will drop many, many more details the day before or the day that the update drops. So be sure to keep an eye on the social medias of the Need for Speed team. What do you think? Are you excited for Volume 8? I know I definitely am, especially um, the fact that you get to play as a cop and it completely changes how you can play the game and gives you just more options. I love that and I'm, I'm very excited. Let me know down in the comments if you're excited for Volume 8, what you're looking forward to the most and what you think should have been added instead of the cars that they've added. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.